Hey everyone, I'm Sophia with Awaken Catholic, and this is Awaken the Saint. In the famous painting of the Last Supper by da Vinci, there seems to be chaos erupting at the captured Passover meal right before the Passion. The disciples are in shock as the news of Christ's death is the hot topic for the night, some attempting to reason with him or even denounce his death amongst themselves. There's one figure on the left of Jesus who is the only one in total serenity of the situation, the beloved disciple, the one whom Jesus loved most. We know him as the author of the Gospel of John, some of the letters, and most likely the book of Revelation. John the Apostle was there with Jesus in the beginning of his ministry and would be the only disciple to travel with him all the way to the foot of the cross and even become the only apostle not to receive a martyr's death. He was the apostle present in both the good times and the bad. Before his ministry years with Jesus, the son of Zebedee was believed to be a disciple of John the Baptist. It didn't take much convincing for John to leave his fishing nets behind and follow when Christ called him, his brother James, and Peter. These three would also journey with Jesus up the mountain to witness his transfiguration and were overwhelmed with his full majesty. The highest of high on the mountaintop quickly became the lowest of lows as Jesus hung on the cross shortly after. John being the only disciple to follow Jesus to Calvary was given the responsibility of accepting the mother of God as the mother of the church and her people. But he was there. He didn't and couldn't abandon Jesus in his time of need. Following the resurrection of Christ and the descent of the Holy Spirit at Pentecost, John began preaching throughout Jerusalem and Ephesus. But as we all know after the Gospels, life didn't come easier for anyone. Even John, who escaped martyrdom, faced terrible persecutions. On one account, John was chasing out a demon from a pagan temple when the worshipers attempted to stone the apostle. Miraculously, the stones reversed their path and began striking the accusers instead. Another tradition recounted Emperor Domitian's cruel punishment. John was dragged to Rome following Pentecost and was beaten, poisoned, and thrown right into the vat of boiling oil. To the emperor's fear and surprise, John climbed right back out unharmed and continued preaching. Because he survived until the year 101, he was able to pass along the new traditions and good news to the next generations of saints of the early church, like St. Polycarp and Ignatius of Antioch. He wasn't meant to die a martyr's death like his brothers in Christ because his mission wasn't complete. John experienced both the joys of ministry life and the true sufferings of the cross. It's not an either or scenario for Christians to follow Christ only in the highest of highs, but also in the darkest moments of the soul. It's easy to praise God when we have all the comforts we want, but do we really remember to give praise when we're feeling completely lost or the going gets tough? May we journey through the side of heaven with the weight of the cross and the help of our Blessed Mother as we journey through this joyful Christmas season. St. John the Apostle, pray for us.